Hi, I'm Gabriella Chong. I'm a sophomore at Milford High School and I do year-round running. Hi, my name is Joey Madden and I'm a freshman at Milford High School. And throughout my high school career, well, my first year of high school, um, I've been playing uh, varsity soccer. Hi, my name is Kate Lobitzer. I'm a sophomore here at Milford High School and I play volleyball, basketball, and softball. Hi, my name is Garrison Miglarini. I'm a senior at MHS, and I run indoor track, and I play soccer. So, um, talking about Kate Lobeser, um, she has recently received Scarlet Hawk of the Week for the indoor season. Um, you know, there's a lot that there's a lot to like about Kate Lobeser. I call her; she's got a nickname. We call her Lobes. Um, you know what? What I've noticed from her volleyball um, playing, her softball playing, and, and certainly from her basketball playing, is just you know I know I use the word a lot, but there's a there's a ferocious approach that she takes to playing sports and I've really noticed it in basketball this season. Um, she doesn't take any plays off every single time she's on the court. She's sprinting up and back and down and, and just getting to where she needs to be and I, I see her doing this in practice, I see her doing this in games and I think she's doing exactly what we want her to do for, for her grade level. It's been really good. It's been awesome to have such great captains as leaders for me to learn and become comfortable with the sporting life here at Milford High School. And it's been really cool because our teams have been so successful and we've had a lot of fun. She brings 100%, 100% attitude, you know, positive attitude and 100% energy. And that's what we're looking for with our Scarlet Hawks of the Week. So um, we hope people uh, sort of try to emulate the way she approaches athletics. Probably making the JV volleyball team as a freshman was pretty cool because it was a new sport for all of us. and. I went into it thinking like all nervous and everything and then to come out and make the JV team was a pretty awesome feeling for me. I wasn't expecting it so it was really cool to have Mr. Boucher say, oh you're Scott Hawk of the Week and he threw me the t-shirt, like congratulations, it just made me feel really awesome and my hard work was paying off in practice and motivation to get out there and keep working hard. Taking a look at Gabriella Chong, um, I, I would say she's sort of an unsung hero probably hasn't got a lot of PR and a lot of press in her last couple of years of running for us. I will tell you, um, she's impressed me. She beat me the last two years in the uh, Thanksgiving Day race here uh, at 7.30 in the morning. So she's a darn good runner. Um, doesn't ask for a lot of accolades, she just works hard. She's one of those what I would call like lunch pail kids. She just brings it every day in practice quietly. Whatever the coach gives her for a workout, she's gonna do it, she's gonna run hard. Even when I was young, I feel like I liked I like enjoyed like running like I didn't I always thought I was someone who like had more in, a little bit more endurance than other people like I used to play soccer and I wouldn't complain when people made me run it'd be like another laugh that'd be fun for me so in middle school that's why I joined middle school cross country and then I just kind of went into high school cross country we give a lot of credit to her and what she's quietly doing to lead by example and just show people this is how we conduct ourselves, this is the way we approach any sport, and this is how we win in Milford. So, um, yeah, she's just been a great, a great kid to have in our program for the last couple of years. I would say that probably um, for my sophomore race, which is like, it's like a district race, or it's just like a ton, it's just a ton of MSTCA, Massachusetts like teams, so like literally like 20 towns. We all compete in a grade race for a 5K and I came in ninth for my grade out of like 100. Joey Madden is a, a, a little bit different from Gabriella. He's brand new, he's a freshman. He was a, a varsity player on our soccer team, a definitely strong co contributor. It's very um, unique for a freshman to play varsity soccer. Joey, um, clearly if you watched him in any of our games, anybody out there, you could see how fast he was. He just has this raw speed. I was just the most nervous person coming into uh, my first meet. Um, at the starting line, everybody's like, wait, how old are you? And I'm like, oh, I'm a freshman. And I go out, run my race. Um, and then on the fourth lap, though well, going into the last lap, my coach was screaming at me to kick, to kick, and I just, I just couldn't feel it in me. And then, Something, something must have gone off, and I just felt click, and then I just went off, and then I won the, my first race. And I, I was like, I couldn't feel my legs, and then Garrison had to come and walk over and help me get water. It was just, it just felt 
It felt great. My sister always used to come home and say, hey, I got Scarlet Hawk of the Week. Uh, and this happened, I was like, ooh, that sounds cool. So it, I would try and try and try, and it just, you just, it's just, just a great feeling. Talking about uh, Gerson from our indoor track team, Miglarini. Um, Gersom is one of those guys that we're just kind of finding here at Milford High School when it comes to sort of our track teams. He's a first-time track kid. He's a senior. Um, he's an incredibly fast soccer player. So we actively have been sort of pursuing kids like that and saying, you know, what are you doing in indoor? What are you doing in outdoor? Maybe you could swim. Maybe you could wrestle. Let's try to get some two- and three-sport athletes. So Gerson uh, jumped on the indoor track team, has really been doing well in some of the lower sprints, the 300, the 400. And all of a sudden, um, he's been working with Coach Rose and Coach Wilson in the long jump. Kid just cracks one at, at an indoor track meet, jumps 19 feet 9 inches, blows away the indoor uh, long jump record by over a foot, which is really impressive for a, a brand new kid. It's been a great, honestly. Uh, my whole life, to be honest, I thought track was like, you know, you just go out and run. Like, who wants to run? No one likes running. But... This, the second I joined track, the day I joined the track, the very first day, I fell in love with it. It was so much fun, just the rush of like competing against other people and a, and a thing you're actually good at is, is very, very fun. It's very fun. His commitment has been impressive. The way he's attacked his, his field events and his running events has been nothing short of impressive. It means so much, honestly. Uh, I've never really gotten an award for any sport before. I've played soccer my whole life. but. I mean, of course, in America, soccer isn't really as big of a sport as uh, like football or baseball, but to get Scarlet Hawk of the Week, it, it means so much to me. It's so great to, ha to actually be a Scarlet Hawk of the Week. If you are not planning, expecting, and playing to win, then you know what? you got to go someplace else because that's not how Milford does it. We we've got a funny little saying um, lately that we've been using, and we're thinking about getting some T-shirts that just simply say, Welcome to Milford, because that's how we do things. We, we play to win, we, we plan to win, and... and we practice to win. Hey everybody, this is Tim Coet. Make sure you check out full episodes of The Milford Informer on Milford TV. New episodes air every Friday night at 7.30 p.m. and then re-air frequently over the course of the weekend. Milford TV can be found on Comcast Channel 8 and Verizon Channel 38. And if you live in the Milford area and have an idea for a news story, you can contact us at news at milfordtv.net.